Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time what I am going to do is I am going to add some force when the character is dead so that it will be uh, pulled away from the character, the attacking character and also sl some slowing down time effect upon the death of the enemy like this like this so as you can see here the time is slowed down a little bit uh, to emphasize the depth of the character and I know this uh, ragdoll seems a little unrealistic but we can fix it later And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Okay, so first I'll show you my current death animation. And actually there is not much of an animation. I'll just uh, make in this uh, guy enable ragdolls. So first I'll reduce the health a little bit because these guys are so hard to kill I'll set 4 and yeah They are still have too hard to kill. So I'll reduce the health level further. And two, let's try two. Okay. So you saw what happens. So they just died without any animation. Like that. So how can we solve that? Alright, and before that I have to fix a little thing. You saw we even when these enemies are dead, uh, you saw that uh, attack or unblockable attack icons over their head so I'll just quickly fix it it should be under fight and here attacking yeah here I should check if this guy is attacking and also not dead mm -mm. is it here yeah attacking and is dead not this is not relevant to the death animation this is something some bug i had in the system hope you don't mind fixing it here right now Mm, now what? Yeah, now where do I die? So that's defined in this CH human class under update health under check hit. Where do I update my health? Dead. No, where do I say that? This is uh, where I get hit. Yeah, on weapon hit. On weapon hit. Yeah, that's the method I should check. Block attack move here. And 
yeah this is where I update my health and yeah and this is the section so here I check the health and if the health is less than or 0 to equal to 0 then I kill this guy right here okay and now here yeah before actually after making this guy go to the rack doll mm, what should I do well I should add some impulse because otherwise this character drops on ground in a boring manner so let's do that at impulse target should be the mesh and I'll add a small upward impulse let's try 100 I'm not sure what kind of value I should use but for now let's try 100 No. No, hundred is not going to work. And what is this? I got a warning too. Has to have simulate physics enabled if you like to add an impulse. Alright, uh, so I should add it after this step. Right, it's still not enough. What should I do? Okay, so actually I had to increase the power in order to take the effect. And also I'm going to do something else as well. So instead of adding power just on upward, I'm going to add the power outward from the enemy character or the character who's attacking. So I need to get this source actor reference to my update health method. So here this source actor is the one who is doing the attack on this actor. Mm -hmm. I have to define it here. I'll name it. What should I name it? should be an actor and the type I'll call it attacker right now I can pass it like this okay now inside the update health method I can get the where is this? Mm, right here get at the location and also get at the location of myself and direction is from find look at no not like this this is my direction and this is other characters direction so I should 
from myself to other character that means is it like this myself to other character yeah and I'll normalize this and then I'll multiply this one it's some um, not with uh, another vector but with a float I'll say 20,000 and I need to yeah I need to apply only X and Y components so for the Z component I'll keep it as like this or maybe I can increase it a little bit because uh, having an upward momentum is uh, looks good right let's check if that works let's do a hard attack here okay right it is working now let's add some simple camera animation or time slowdown uh, yeah let's do a time slowdown when the death upon the death of the enemy so for that i'll implement a new function under fight i'll name it uh, on enemy killed so should come out of fight and, and uh, it does not I don't have to do anything for the normal characters so the camera is only involved in the player character so I'll implement that in the CH player character it's like this on enemy killed and yeah so here I'll set time set global time dilation to point one and add a delay of 0.1 seconds I think that should be enough and set time dilation back to 1 now we should call this event from here check yes check health update health right and here so I already have a reference to my attack in character and here like this on enemy killed maybe we can add the add a reference to this killed enemy and do something with the camera also but let's try this for now to make this effect look better to let's add couple more enemies <laughs> all right Okay. Right. So 
so I think you get the effect but uh, this ragdoll it seems a little unrealistic so let's work on that later so for now that's all I wanted to do and if you like to support my work you can go to patreon.com Primacy. link would be in the description below and you can get the membership of my patreon club and depending on the membership you will have the different privileges like full access to source code or you can ask any questions you can uh, participate in polls and other events that i'm hosting there right see you in the next episode goodbye